And we start here this afternoon at 5 with a fresh start for a man once convicted of murder. Jawan Deering, a free man tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. A new prosecutor on the case describes the investigation and trial as being marred by misconduct. Deering, now 50 years old, spent the last 15 years in prison. This morning, he got the chance to finally hug his family. His wrongful conviction stems from a deadly house fire back in 2000. Five children were killed in the Royal Oak Township home. In 2006, a jury found Deering guilty of arson and five counts of felony murder. He was sentenced to life in prison. Deering repeatedly declared his innocence. Stephanie Action News reporter Simon Shaykett has the reunion between Deering and his family and shows us the next step in the case. At the Oakland County Courthouse today, Jawan Deering came out a free man after 15 years behind bars and greeting him were family, friends and other men also exonerated for murder in Michigan. Hey. With sun shining on his face, Juwan Deering leaves the Oakland County Courthouse filled with excitement for today and gratitude for those who stuck by him as he maintained his innocence. I'm ecstatic and I'm really, really, really happy. I couldn't be no happier. This sun couldn't shine, shine not a brighter day. Juwan was convicted in 2006 for an arson fire that killed five children in Royal Oak Township in 2000. But Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald, who appeared in court today, has maintained he did not get a fair trial due to misconduct and the jury not being told jailhouse informants were being rewarded for testimony against him. We need a conviction integrity unit so that we have a proper protocol when we know that there are convictions that need to be addressed based on new evidence. After an outside review by an independent expert, a judge ordered his sentence vacated and now McDonald dismissing all charges, meaning there won't be a new trial. The protocols weren't followed. That case was denied at least three times in our warrants division from 2000 to 2006. This is about holding ourselves accountable so that the public can trust what we say and what we do. What are you right looking now, forward to most rekindling with your relationship with your dad? Just spending more time with him, enjoying each other, and get to know each other again. I have five children. Um, I got married and I have six. I have a stepdaughter. Deering's conviction will now be removed from his record as he joins dozens of other men exonerated for murder in Michigan. I'm grateful and I can't be upset or angry because it doesn't do anything but causes uh, you to look ugly on the outside and make you sick on the inside. So. There was a difficult path before we got involved to make sure that he gets proper identification, his vital documents, you know, proper housing, mm -hmm. job, education. That's what we're here for. In this case and many others, new evidence uncovered by organizations like the U of M Innocence Clinic has paved the way for justice and a chance for a grandfather What's up, my little champ? to now meet his grandchildren for the first time. It took a lot of uh, uh, strength to step up uh, against the status quo. You can imagine how many other prosecutors have seen the same evidence she's seen and bypassed it. There's pressure on prosecutors to win cases, to get convictions. So people cut corners, police cut corners, prosecutors cut corners. This was the perfect storm of all of that. And kudos to Prosecutor McDonald for calling it out. Now McDonald also says a Michigan State Police investigation could still produce leads to help catch those potentially responsible for that fire and her office will review all findings. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you.